Greetings Gideon's Tactical fans. We are going to be doing an amazing review on the Approach 45. Hey everybody, we're back here at camp. We're looking at the Approach 45. And one thing I like about this bag, for a 45 liter bag, there is all kinds of compartments and zippers and other things. I really, really enjoy that in a, even in a larger bag. You know, most people, um, you know, if you're gonna have a larger bag like that, it's kind of like just fold all your stuff, throw it in there and go. But especially if you wanna compress this bag and maybe not carry as much things as you would for like a three day hike and you just wanna go for a single day, but you need to carry extra things in here, it's good to be able to have like these, the side zippers, there's all our kind of things that we're gonna go over here in just a minute and show you the inside of the bag and just show you the usefulness of this Approach 45. So first of all, you see I have my hiking poles on here, Mountain Smith, Pyrite, very nice hiking poles. And what's different on this one than the 35 liter is that it only is on one side, which it's a little, the only time it's awkward is if it's sitting on the ground because it wants to kind of like fold just the one way instead of being equal on each side. But you can see it has the nice uh, compression kind of strap here that has the little hook. In case you don't know how to use that, that's how that's used. And you just put the two end pieces in here. And you can see on most of these packs, there's always kind of like a mesh pouch that's on the front. You see the daisy chain right here that has kind of the ladder system if you want to be able to molly things on there, basically. Uh, the hook to open up. Uh, pretty good elastic on here. Seems pretty good. Um, and, uh, you know, you can probably put wet things out here, other things that you don't want to get wet inside the bag you just put out here. It's a great mesh, kind of airs out a little bit too while you're hiking. So on this pack, when it's loaded out and you have things in it, it actually makes for kind of a nice base piece here. Uh, the way this is sewn and kind of the design, just that being flat is really nice, especially because again, it's a 45 and not a 35 or smaller, kind of a liter pack. A couple things we, we really like here um, on the channel to be able to have in our packs is some kind of straps or something down here so you can put a bedroll, especially because this is a 45. I mean, this isn't just like a single day. I mean, for us, it's a single day because we carry a lot of stuff when we're filming things. But, you know, if you're going to do it like a couple days and you just want to take this, you could put, um, you know, maybe a real light tent or, or cover and then be able to roll your bedroll up and then have those straps to be able to hold that on in the bottom. The other thing, too, that Osprey does actually that's really nice is they have like a, a zipper normally at the bottom. I have another pack that I think it's like a 35 liter, 32 liter that has a zipper and then the rain cover actually is inside the pack. So all you do is you just pull it up over the bag. Because when it starts raining, you don't want to be screwing around trying to put the pack uh, cover on. You just pull it up and it covers the bag, which would be a nice addition. Uh, not super needed. You could put pretty much any kind of cover over this. But it's just nice to be able to have that. Again, another kind of compartment zippered and put away. So the overall height of the bag from the top to the bottom is about 25 and a half inches. And again, being a bigger guy, um, this pack rode really weird when I, Aaron first gave it to me and I had it on and it was riding way up on my back. But once you got weight into it, it actually rides even, it rides really nice and it's actually at the waist where it should be. We were talking about that the other day on the, on the trail. This is nice too. It's kind of like a little lower lumbar support almost. Uh, once you tighten up this strap, you can kind of see the curve. It curves back under. So actually when you press that on your back, it kind of helps support, you know, right where it should, you'll know it's riding correctly in the lower part of your back. Um, the front, uh, you know, the belly strap basically, or the, the waist strap has a nice zipper pouch here. I can fit two uh, cliff bars inside here pretty easily. 
They can go together. I can also fit my Garmin in here too. I have a 64S Garmin that will fit in this perfectly. Um, again, good straps here on the side to, uh, to pull in and just to make sure and cinch. I love too how uh, Mount Smith, you guys did a good job with um, the length of these straps sometimes they think you know you have to have like just like this little micro piece of strap here and again i'm a bigger guy around even around the waist and it's nice to be able to have that and then have these little bungee straps to hold that back in good locking uh, mechanism on here uh, you know pretty simple i don't know why um, this is kind of wasted space to me i think even if you had i have a gregory pack that has just a uh, a mesh um, kind of like a stretchy piece not a zippered piece but just for quick things in here or like a you know, like you're like just a rain cover if you're if you're walking and stuff you just want to pull that out if it starts raining or whatever so this is kind of a little bit of wasted space to me not terrible you can see the cushioning is decent it's not crazy um, but it's comfortable for like i said for you know the hike kind of hiking and things that we do and again for a 45 liter pack i think it supports the back very very well so the straps to me are about the most important because that's going to carry the you know on your shoulders that's going to probably get the most tired if you're carrying this loaded out and you can notice something too on this these are actually sewn actually at an angle off like this and not just straight out the back of the pack, which is nice. So this actually stays away from your neck right here. And it actually will ride basically between, you know, your neck muscle here and your, that, like the, you feel that, bo that bone on the end of your shoulder. So that's really nice too. Um, again, good cushioning. You know, I think that that's fine. I do like how they rolled and wrapped this around quite a ways so that if it does kind of get, you know, here, it's not like you're, you have that canvas that's rubbing on your neck. Uh, good again compression straps here basically to, to tighten that up um, have the ladder system again with uh, which I mean it's okay you know the other guys in our group kind of like that I don't, I don't necessarily I'd rather just have a straight stretch so I can adjust it as needed on the trail which is fine the one thing that we were talking about is that you know mountains that that the company is doing a very good job doing this if they just added one more link again if you consider a guy that's going to be maybe over six foot or over six I'm, I'm six six um, that just needs one more button because that's one's like about here and it really needs to ride for me it needs to ride like I want it riding straight over my chest and not even up here at my on my sternum so um, really just to even and again gives you a little bit more because you have to leave these un loosened a little bit for me to be able to have this uh, strap ride at my waist correctly so overall for this pack I would say for the the type of pack it is the size of the leader pack Again, I don't have very many packs, so I have ones that are certain liters that I carry for certain things. But for a 45 liter, I think this pack is very, very comfortable, uh, especially for a bigger guy and uh, just for a bigger frame, bigger upper frame. So price point on this backpack is kind of mind blowing actually for on Amazon right now, it's about 130 bucks. And I've purchased other bags that are even like half this size for that price. I mean, $130 is an amazing price point from Amazon on this bag. Again, Amazon's a great way to support the channel uh, so that we can continue to do these videos for you guys and, and uh, you know, be able to be honest about our opinions as well and not just, you know, kiss butt. <laughs> so yeah, 130 bucks on Amazon, amazing. So I not only want to thank Mountain Smith, but my back thanks Mountain Smith. Uh, great riding pack, greatly appreciated. Um, you know, we just appreciate them being able to donate this to us for our hiking trip and be able to give you an honest review and uh, again, again, our honest opinion about these things. And so you can make a, a smart decision. We hope that our feedback too can help the company be able to provide a better product for customers. We know they're always asking it. Mountain Smith has been wonderful for actually asking us how can they help to do things better. So that's awesome. Uh, great customer service from Mountain Smith. We appreciate you guys. All right, so you'll notice there's compression straps on here on each side, same on each side. Um, plenty of webbing too, this is really nice. It's not like a little short piece. I mean, you can really, really, really load that thing out if you have to. And um, I think too, they did this as well. If you have something that you wanna put on the side, this is nice to be able to have. You have these side zippered uh, little U pouches, which I think are awesome. Uh, just kind of general gear. You could probably put like a platypus water bladder in there too, additional to your, to your water bottle. You do have your water bottle uh, sleeve on each side. The nice thing too is that this strap that's on the bottom here, you can actually put your water bottle in here and wrap that around your water bottle and tighten it down. If you have one that you're not going to take out every time, you're just hauling it. That can kind of really help to, uh, to keep your water bottle from falling out. So let's get into the bag here. YKK zippers all the way throughout. These are great, great zippers. They have nice, these nice long tabs on here. One thing I had mentioned that I really liked is that this zipper doesn't go all the way down on the front. It actually stays here. So you're actually loading from this side, which is really nice. I mean, when you have 
This could just be falling open. I have other bags that this whole thing just falls open and it just kind of makes a mess. This, you actually have this corner to be able to stuff. You have uh, three pen holders here. You have a couple of smaller pouches here. You have a key holder that, uh, that you can, I have my little spork thing on there. Uh, this actually has a little mesh, kind of a micro dump that's right here, which is really nice. Just kind of have my various and sundry things. And uh, yeah, the front area is really nice. You could have maybe, they could have maybe done something else different here. Maybe put another, even like a mesh pouch here would have been kind of nice if you wanted to put like a map or uh, you know something you would get at right away would be would be nice to have there. So you can see the, this is the main dump. I do like how this is a little further down so you can actually tuck stuff under here and then zip it up again for a 45 liter bag, that's good. The one thing they could have done is just done like a little zippered pouch here. I know some other packs have like a zipper pouch. You put your sunglasses or things in there that have like that soft uh, kind of material, microfiber material in there. But basically it's just a general, you know, just a good, good size dump. Um, I, I use this so I, since I don't use a water bladder. I just use this for my Mount Smith chair and uh, just, you know, other items. So pretty simple, but it's uh, plenty of space. So the Approach 45 is FAA carry-on size approved, which is awesome. Uh, 47 ounces on this baby so it's actually not super heavy for what it is i was teased aaron about the anvil being heavy and it is not true like these packs are great carrying uh, weight and it has 305 cordura and again we have other packs but this is super super i mean this is great great stuff so again for especially for airline if you're going to travel a lot with it in that capacity i uh, would definitely be able to do the deed that you needed to do so in summary uh, great pack you know it's very important you think about some things about like usefulness and how you're going to use a backpack before you buy it. Um, the one thing I like about this backpack, and I agree with us here at the channel, is that it's a great crossover pack. You know, it's something that you can really compress and maybe not put as much in it, but it's still going to ride nice. Or it's something you can completely load out. Again, you can take it on an airplane. I didn't mention previously, but there's actually with that rigid frame, you can take that plastic piece completely out and just actually make it kind of more like a duffel almost. So you could probably actually even overload it more than just the 45 liters for hauling it if you want to take it on a multi-day, uh, like an airplane trip or something, and you look cool because you're carrying your Mountain Smith bag through the airport, which is awesome. So uh, again, uh, you know, we want you to, to be a part of the channel, be part of the conversation with us. Like, comment, share the different videos that we do here on the channel. And uh, please follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, all those kind of things. And um, it's important that you understand a couple of things, that you stay equipped and you stay prepared. We'll see you out there.